How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video we're going to be covering one quick, simple and easy to turn on and off Windows setting in which you can use to potentially see FPS improvements in any of your favourite titles, regardless of how good or bad your PC may be. This setting is incredibly easy to turn on and off. Some games will see a slight FPS decrease from doing this, some games will see FPS improvement from doing this, so it's all about finding that fine balance, one for your system and two for your games. But if you are someone like me and you like to tweak around, jump into settings and really fine tune your system for the games in which you play to see as many benefits as possible, wherever possible, then this is definitely a setting in which you should know of and try around to see what performance gains may be available for you. As always, if you do enjoy this video, please do consider leaving a like and a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously, with all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Before we change this setting or apply the feature we're going to be doing in this video, it's quickly recommended to jump into one or two of your favorite games and get a rough benchmark so you know what your sort of performance is like currently. There's a few games that may have built-in benchmarks which could help you, but I would recommend jumping into one of your favorite games, taking a quick note of what the performance is, applying this setting, then jumping back into the game, going into the same sort of area and trying to replicate as many of the same factors as possible to see if there is a noticeable performance increase or decrease because again, depending on your system and depending on the individual game will depend on your results. This won't increase FPS on all games, it could lower FPS on some games, so it's really about finding if your system and individual games you play are worth having the setting on for. Going to navigate to the bottom left of any Windows 10 or 11 PC, type PowerShell, right click on the Windows PowerShell and run this as administrator. The first command we're going to be inputting with inside of here is going to be get dash mm agent then select enter. After a few short moments, this information should then pop up. The main thing we're looking for is memory compression. On most systems, this will typically be turned on or set to true by default. We're going to attempt to disable memory compression and see what performance improvements we could gain from doing this and see if there are performance gains available for us on the games in which we play and the applications we use. Now, before we disable this, there is a reason this is defaultly turned on within Windows. It's because for most people, you typically might want to be using memory compression because its benefits outweigh the drawbacks. The main people I'd recommend to keep memory compression on are those of you that do a lot of multitasking whilst playing games or using your PC. So if you're someone for instance that is using a one PC stream setup, so you game and stream from your one PC, or if you have a ton of applications open in the background whilst you play, if you do use your PC with a lot of applications open at a time, memory compression will help you. But if you're someone like me and I typically only have a web browser open, Discord and the game I'm playing when I'm actually gaming, memory compression being turned off could net you some performance. What memory compression does is it basically compresses the size of inactive data in the background which would be sitting in RAM to allow more RAM space available for programs which need it more. But if you're a user that doesn't use all of their RAM, compressing RAM of background processes could actually be harming your performance. For systems that currently have memory compression set to false, we're going to try turning this on. And for those of you with systems with memory compression set to true, we're going to try turning this off. Again, at any time, to revert this back to the setting it currently is, you just simply need to put in the command to either re-enable it or disable it. Super simple, quick and easy to do. So for most systems, like mine, memory compression is currently true, so we're going to try turning this off. To do this, you can use the command in the description down below, or type in disable dash mm agent space dash mc just like that then press enter nothing should show up once that's done and to check to see if memory compression is now disabled we'll type in the first command get mm agent once again enter you can now see the memory compression has now been switched to false what we can then go ahead and do is exit out of the powershell then try out our games than which we tested beforehand and see what our performance gains are like. Again, some games and some systems may see lower performance, some systems and some games could see relatively sizable performance gains. Now, if you want to jump back with inside of here to turn this back to how it used to be, so in this case, to turn it back on for me, so simply press the Windows button, type PowerShell, right click on Windows PowerShell, open as admin. You'll then simply input the command to either enable compression or disable it. Type in enable dash mm agent space dash mc. Press enter. And to check if that's now enabled, type get dash mm agent, enter. 
And as you can now see, memory compression has now been enabled. So the three main commands to turn off, turn on, and check this option are enable dash MM agent space dash MC to turn this on, disable dash MM agent space dash MC to turn this off, and get dash MM agent to check the current status of memory compression, whether it's on or off. When you turn memory compression on or off at any time, just do a quick system restart after it's then been set to make sure that the change has been applied and you should then be good to go. So as mentioned earlier on in the video, the FPS results from this may not be fantastic. You may see some gains depending on your system specs and the games in which you are playing, but the main thing I would like to showcase in this part of the video is some of the improvements you could see towards micro stuttering and smoothness of games. On my main gaming PC, using a program called CapFrameX, which has been used to gather all of the benchmark data for this video, we can see my memory compression on test features smoothness down here in the bottom right hand side of 98.7% with 1.3% stuttering. If we head over to my memory compression off test, we can see that the stuttering drops down to just 1% with a smoothness of 99%. You can also see the 95% FPS, average FPS, 5%, 1, 0.2 and 0.1% FPS values versus memory compression on. So the FPS doesn't deviate by all that much, but nearly every game in which I've tested this on on both PCs, 9 times out of 10 the game will see a much better smoothness rating and less stuttering, even though the FPS may be slightly lower or slightly higher. There are some games where this is flipped, where memory compression on provides a slightly smoother experience, so I would definitely recommend diving in, trying this setting out, playing your favourite games and seeing if you see a noticeable improvement, or using a program like CapFrame X here to do the monitoring and get the hard data for yourself. Here are a few quick benchmarks on some different available systems I've been able to try this on and some different games. You'll see the system specs listed on screen alongside a memory compression on versus off comparison in some games so you can see some general performance improvements or some games where there might actually be lower performance. Let me know of your results in that comment section down below. If you have enjoyed optimizing your system and would like to see more videos covering this subject check out the two videos on screen now for more phenomenal performance improvements.